Hey friends, how are you all doing today? Welcome back to my studio. So I have painted maybe one geranium in my career and it was palette knife. Um, I'm shaking my head because I don't know how to describe it. So I thought I would try painting another geranium. I have a traceable. It'll be on my website, AnnieTro.com. Sorry about the wiggle. I just hit my microphone cord. I don't really have a reference photo. I can, I'll link this one in this video's description. I mean, it'll help, but it's not quite at all what I drew, if that makes sense here. So I've got a pot and a little in a different angle. We're gonna paint it on eight by eight canvas panel and um, we're gonna kind of wing it. So let's have some fun. All right, I've got an eight by eight canvas panel. This one's from US Art Supply. It did come in a 12 pack. You know, I think I'm liking this a little better than Michael's because um, it seems to be square, more true, especially the corners, which means it'll fit in a frame better, which I like that. Cause I put, with these little canvas panels, I put them in white frames. Here, here's a six by eight that I re we recently did this video. It has a traceable. And so it's nice to pop them in a frame. Okay, and I think I'm just gonna, so I'm going for maybe darker, warmer, dramatic. I'm thinking I might just paint the background first with some burnt umber and some yellow oxide. Looks like I should get some more yellow oxide. I'm gonna let it dry after I get my background painted and then we'll put the traceable on it. Uh, one thing I notice is it's pretty tight over here. Can you see that? Maybe I'll lay it down. It's tight to the edge over here. And it's, so I've got almost a finger width there and then half a finger width over here. I'm gonna, when I put the traceable on, I'm gonna scoot it a little bit to center it. Okay guys, I'll be back in a bit. friends I thought I'd pop in and talk about the colors and what I'm up to so I scooted my traceable down oh not even a quarter inch and to the right maybe a quarter inch so it's a little bit better centered you can kind of see I've got like about a finger um, and I did that because I'm gonna pop it in a frame 
um, it's it's fine the way it is too if you want to just paint it like that especially if you're not going to frame it it depends on how much your frame is going to come in and I'm okay with the frame cover some of the leaves oh and make sure that the flowers um, show and then it's fun to see how I kind of bring the pot to life life and I'm really trying to exaggerate that's what this means I was telling myself this is going to be in light and some of these leaves are going to be in light and a lot of them are going to be in, in dark and I'm going to just kind of figure it out as I go too I'm using oh that's pretty dirty and wash it off a half inch flat brush give it a little better wash uh, and then I grabbed oh that's about a quarter inch flat brush from Royal and Lang Nickel it's old I've worn off the name <laughs> it might be a little less than a quarter inch my colors are hookers green which I haven't used in a while it's the only green that I buy I mean there's lots of great greens out there I just end up mixing them quite often as I'm, I'm mixing it now with a little bit of Mars black so let's see can we get that man scoot it in just a little bit more so hookers green Mars black um burnt under <laughs> burnt umber that's the brown the background was burnt umber and yellow oxide I was buying Naples yellow which I really like but a little white and the yellow oxide you get in Naples yellow or a color that's quite close so I started uh, painting with the yellow oxide um, this is cad red medium hue and I mixed kind of a, a terracotta color with the yellow oxide and the cad red medium hue and this is cad red and burnt umber that's kind of a neat color and then titanium white okay I just thought I've been painting for a bit uh, that last bit was time-lapse I thought you might want, want me to pop in and talk about the tools and the paints I'll be back in a bit
Hey friends, I'm done. And a thing happened. I was so into painting it, I really didn't have anything pop into my head that I thought I should share with you guys. I just was thinking dappled light, which means just sort of splotches of light. I ended up using this brush quite a bit. Um, I kind of like the, the pinky, a little bit of a pinky color I'm getting. And I swiped some here on the pot just to kind of bring it down a little bit. Everything's pretty loose, which I really like. I was trying to be loose, um, impressionistic. Here, I know what I haven't done in this video. Let's take a little tour, a little closer tour. Trying to get it square to my phone. So isn't that fun? And it's it's square brush strokes, or you know, maybe a little bit on the angle instead of flat. Here, hang on, I'm grabbing my brush. Instead of maybe a flat stroke, I might turn it a little bit. Okay, back to the tour. Isn't that fun? So I really wanted to paint this because I really like the clay pot. <laughs> I really, I think they just look neat. I like that they get kind of whitish from the water. I like the shadow. I like that this is, this is almost a lost edge. I've talked about lost edges a little bit. Oh, there's one right there pretty much where it blends right into the background. And then this is a strong edge because there's a lot of contrast. Um, I kind of lose a little bit there. I don't really have any lost, lost edges. I lightened this up at the end a little bit because I wanted these flowers to stand out just a little bit more. So I smeared some um, yellow, yellow oxide and white back in there. It turned out fun. I really like it. I really like it. Um, I don't know if I have anything else to say. I didn't add any more colors. Oh, the um, yellow oxide and hooker's green made a really nice kind of warm, earthy green. I really like that. Here, maybe you want to see my palette a little closer. I've never done that before. A little look. Um, a lot of times I've been using quinacridone. I really liked using the Cad Red Medium. It wasn't quite as transparent, which was nice. Here, maybe a screen. Well, I guess I can't really get any closer. It pretty much fits in screen if you want a screenshot. Well, thank you for hanging out with me. It's so fun for me to share my art journey with you, the things that I'm trying, and just by trying new things and painting new things and just keep painting. It's kind of like, I think I've, I've said this before, shooting free throws. The more you do it, the more practice, you just get better. Um, and you don't always notice you're getting better and then you look back and go, wow, I am improving. And then trying to paint more loose because I do a lot of tight pet portraits I think is also helpful. Occasionally I throw in an abstract. That can be really helpful too. Okay guys, I'm on a soapbox. Thanks for all the likes, comments, and shares. It helps so much. We recently hit 4,000 subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you everybody that sends money to support the channel. It, it helps so much to buy canvas panels and paints. I'm gonna run to Michael's tomorrow. As I'm videoing this, they have a sale. Great, big, happy art hugs, and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye guys.